Alright everyone, welcome back to another Three Scary Games. So, today we are starting off with a game called Crawl. And it's about claustrophobia in a local cave system. <clears throat> there was a rescue expedition. Five people went missing in a local cave system. They came back without anything. Something's off about all of that. Bodies don't just vanish into thin air. I'm going... So far, uh... Ooh, casual difficulties. <clears throat> okay. Start off with casual, and uh, depending on how it goes, might try difficult mode. Ooh. Hold W to crawl, you can only move forward? Sometimes you'll need to move a little further to get out of tough areas. Okay. Noted. Wait, so can I do this and- oh no, okay. I wasn't sure if I could turn around somehow. Uh, anybody also likes, uh, kind of like, horror stuff? Recently watched a movie called, I believe it's The Descent? It's about, uh, some people going caving. I won't ruin too much more than that, but I think it's pretty good. I think I gave it like a 7 out of 10. Like, it's actually not awful. Ooh. Hold right mouse button, press left mouse button to take a photo. I'll turn around and click the camera several times to reload the cartridge and put it back. <clears throat> oh man, this is kind of awful. Oh, all the noises and... I know I'm gonna do that. And there's going to end up being something just kind of staring at me. Uh, we'll go left. Wait, can I just say, I've seen some caving videos, and this is way more than enough room to, like, turn around and go the other way. Like, there's some absolutely insane, uh, caving videos of, like, claustrophobic areas. Okay, one photo per cartridge. Don't forget to, uh, reload camera. Got it. Oh, is this the other way? Okay, so it didn't really matter which way it went. <coughs> Easy, then. Oh, if I have to crawl faster, that means there's something I have to crawl away from. Ah. Uh, there's a lot of cool mechanics in this, but I don't appreciate all the implications. I go? There we go. Yeah, I don't, uh, enjoy the implications of fast running and, uh, needing to charge my flashlight. That means things are definitely gonna get intense. That clicking sound? <clears throat> if something attacks me... No, we're gonna keep going left. 
Oh, God. You can't see very far in front of you, so it's just giving me so much anxiety. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Okay, yellow dots only appear if you're close enough to an object. Wait, check my map! Wait, do I have a map? Oh, no way. Okay, so the blue, I'm assuming, is where the backpack was. Oh, oh my god! Oh, that is not okay. Jeez, reload. Oh. Well, that was lovely. I didn't even see what that was. Oh, now I hate that I'm forced to just keep walking towards it. Come on, you can do it. Oh, not now. Okay, recharge. Bro, I only have one photo left, right? Am I just dead? Like, okay, so he went that way, so I'll go this way. Uh, map... No! Okay, I believe I have to go this way. Hey, map, go. You, got, you gotta go way, bud. Hello? Oh, I'm too far this way. I have to go this way now. Ah, shoot. Um, well, I'm just gonna run a little bit, uh, or not. Crap, there's up and down too. All right, where are we at? Opposite direction of where I need to go. Oh yeah, I've pretty much just made a big circle. Damn it, okay. Um, so we'll keep going this way. I think I only have one photo left. Just kind of gonna screw me up. Especially because that bastard's down here. Oh! Oh my god, that is the worst. Is that my last photo? Or can I keep going more? Oh, okay, I have unlimited photos, I guess. Okay, so I want to go left here. How do I tell if there's something behind me or not? I'll put map away. No! The 
Am I dead? What's happening? What? What just happened? Oh God, Jesus, get out of here! Get out of here, sir! Reload, 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 quick! Hey, put that shit away. <coughs> oh. Oh. Okay, that's kind of the worst. I still don't exactly know how to tell if the monster's coming or not. Um, map, just go this way, I guess. Saw those rocks and thought it was the monster. Ugh. I don't like all these side tunnels, man. Oh, cool. Well. No, no, not map. Get camera, reload. Gonna keep going. I'm surprised. Shoot. Surprised I really haven't been attacked more recently. I don't want to jinx myself, but Okay, yeah, I think if I keep going straight... OH GOD! OH! JESUS! Oh, every time! Oh! Holy crimeny! Oh, not right now, flashlight. Oh. Oh, my lanta. Come on. Oh, this makes a sharp turn. I think this might turn me around. Oh, wait. Oh, well, that's blood. Well. Get out of here! Okay, reload camera. Okay, so I want to go left, down here. I 
Can I not? Really? You're telling me I'm stuck? What? Can I not? What is happening? No way am I stuck. Really? That's... Okay, there we go, there we go. Whew. I thought that was gonna have to be game over. That was unfortunate. Wait, okay, then where? Uh, to my left. Hey, reload camera. There's what, one left? Yeah. Bastard, saw you coming that time. Okay, I have to orient myself, so that's that. Damn it. Okay, um... That's there. The other one... I feel like it's probably up in that three crevice there. Or over in here. So let's go... Unfortunately, the way the monster went. Okay! Hi, friend. Okay, reload that bad boy. <clears throat> this is the way I'm going, right? Oh, oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, just continue there. Wait, I really don't want to mess this up. Okay, uh, yeah, just straight. Wait, no way. Did I go the wrong way? Okay, no, 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 I didn't. Wait, shite. Come on. Uh, yeah. This way. Oh, I thought I missed that. Oh, that would have been awkward. Okay, then it's gonna be to my right. Well, oh my buddy. There we go. Come on. Nope, not my photo. Oh no! Was that supposed to happen? Oh, okay, it was. Oh! No one ventured into this cave ever again. Some time after... What? Wait, some time after lone journalist disappearance... 
uh, cave was finally sealed by the same company who started it all. Maybe he missed people and the horrors that lurks beneath rest unbothered forever. Oh! Huh. Yeah, that actually wasn't too bad. I, I liked that a lot. It had some really, really good mechanics. I like the uh, map finding objectives, the f having to like turn the flashlight was really cool. Like I genuinely enjoyed that. Uh, the camera was a nice aspect as well, like using that for objectives and to kind of deflect the monster. You have to kind of choose wisely when you use it. That was, that was a lot of fun. I genuinely liked this. All right, so next game up is one called Lamp Post. It's uh, an atmospheric horror. I believe it's about uh, SCP stuff, like the Lamp Post SCP. Uh, I don't really know much else other than that. So let's give that a try. Recent SCP activity was discovered by locals in the middle of the Thornwood Forest. Authorities contacted the SCP Foundation to deal with the aftermath. A random lamppost, SCP, is currently under supervision of Team Alpha. They are heading towards the location in order to conduct a research and give further answers to this unknown anomaly. Based on the rumors, the lamppost uses energy around itself, consuming anything that comes in contact with it. <clears throat> That's actually really interesting. Dr. Hyden, our intel suggests that this is a Keter-class SCP, which means that it is difficult to contain. We should be very careful of observing this object. SCP blank doesn't seem to show any signs of mobility, but is somehow capable of disappearing from one location to another in a matter of seconds. You can clearly see that we are surrounded by forest, yet the objects in this area appear from unknown locations. We must contain those objects. Here's an analog multimeter. It is used to measure electric quantities, like frequency signals, etc. Use it to find those objects affected by lamppost and collect them. Okay. Uh, I will be checking for other anomalies as well. Dr. Cooper will observe us just in case anything happens. And Dr. Thorne will provide us with medical help if we need any. Collect at least five samples, report it to Dr. Cooper, and afterwards we can discuss the discoveries together. Stay vigilant and avoid interactions with the lamppost, and good luck. So is this like a slender, but a lamppost edition? I'm gonna guess... Really? Coffee cup... Oh, that bucket wasn't suspicious. Ah, the flashlight is though. There's bloody footprints going into the wall? Yeah, I feel like that is definitely suspicious. Right? No. Can? No. Gasoline. Nope, guess not. Huh? I need three more. Hey, a floppy disk in 2024? That's suspicious. I don't care. That's definitely one of the items. Wait, what? Oh, floppy disk. <laughs> I think I need like one more item or two more. I feel like I've pretty much gone everywhere though. Ah, whiskey. Uh, 
Ooh. Almost ran right into the one thing we're supposed to avoid. Really, nothing in the middle here. I'm still missing one, right? There's one more? Ah, yep. Shrek VHS. Head over to Dr. Cooper. Hello! Take my stuff. Impressive work. We need to pack those things and get them back to the lab to ensure their safety. Not to mention this area is very dangerous for us as well. Although, do you not wonder where those objects come- Where are those objects coming from? The entire road is closed. We barely got in with the van. You saw that too, right? Oh! Hello? No one is allowed <laughs> in this area, yet there are so many objects in here. Could it be that SCP moves those objects from somewhere? Maybe even from another dimension? Your analog multimeter is picking up high frequencies. Damn. Oh no, the lamp post. <clears throat> We're going on a trip. Oh. Find a way out. Uh, we discovered something out of this world. There's a regular lamppost emitting a dim light. Anyone who tried to get close to it vanished in front of our eyes. Theory is that this vortex of photons created a dimensional bridge between our reality and something else. A dark place where time is non-existent. The lamppost becomes active when there is a surge of electricity around it. After that, it starts emitting strong light, and if anyone touches it, the lamppost and objects or a person disappear. That is a hell of an estimate on what you think might have happened. May I help you? Well, guess not. Oh, this is a maze game. Is there someone chasing me or... Ooh. Love me some Coco Coco. Uh, are you okay, Dr. Hayden? You seem to, uh, be missing an eyeball. <coughs> I'm, uh, I'm gonna let you do your thing, man. Ooh, broken door. Oh, okay, no, this is just a big circle. That's where I just started from. Uh, sometimes the lamppost can make a choice. It can trap the person forever in time or turn them back. No one knows what happened to those who returned, but one thing is clear that those people are not the same anymore. Only the abandoned souls can hear the shadow figure. It whispers your name, it suffocates your flesh, and feeds you with hope. When it's done, there's nothing left of you. Jeez, it's kinda... Kind of a little bit grim. Was so that loser the shadow figure? Oh, there's the lamppost. Should I touch it? No? There's some sound coming from- oh, it's the damn TV. Gotcha. Yeah, that's where it started then. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I was fine over here. I thought this is where I started. Wait, no, no, I'm lost. Uh, there's that, the Coco Co. Titans around the corner. 
I mean, I don't see anything but to any observing this, it will look like a person, a dark figure, and in the blink of an eye it will vanish but appear once more. We call it the Photon Shadow, which was created by this lamppost. It's always around the corner. It makes you think of a place, a place where you feel safe, and it will trap you there forever without realizing that your flesh does no longer belong to you. Okay. Uh, I was supposed to read that note and then find Dr. Hype. Got it. Uh, yep, already read that one. There's obviously nothing down here. Hello, friend! I think I figured out what I need to do. I need to touch TVs. Okay, that was actually kind of... I'm ashamed that got me a little bit. I am. That should not have scared me. Um, Was there a TV? No. There's one here, though, which is on. Is there one by Dr. Hayden? Yes. Yes, there was. I'm not scared of you no more. Okay, then the lamp post was down here, I believe. Yes. Am I out? Did I do it? I did. Oh, hello. Okay, that wasn't awful. Alright, next up is Perfect Spot. Um, yeah, it's another atmospheric horror. I believe this one was made in four days. Um, it's a very simple linear game from what the description showed. Um, but yeah, kind of excited. Um, <coughs> What is a perfect spot? Is it a place where you make the best memories while the rest are silent? Oh. A waz to move, left interaction, shift to sprint. Wow, look at all those missing people. Okay. Supposed to find a perfect spot. I say it's in front of this creepy statue. This is my perfect spot. No? I think I found my perfect spot. Is it, uh... Oh, now I have to go back to the car. My car- oh, okay. I thought my car was gone. I'm like, what? <laughs> Dig up the spot. So am I the killer and this is where I'm like putting all the bodies or something? For my perfect spot to be a graveyard, that's kind of serial killer-y. I don't know if that's just me. Oh! Statue? Get the body from the car! I am! I am the killer! Ah, I understand why that was my perfect spot. That is actually kind of funny. Is it in the trunk too? <coughs> yeah, it is. Oh, that is a very small body. Wait, is this not all of it? Why does my task still get the body from the car? 
I dual wield these things? What's happening? No? Okay, the objective just didn't update. That's alright. I like how the body has a shadow, but I do not. It's just floating through the cemetery. Wow, that is much bigger all of a sudden. Repent to your sins in church. Oh my god, hello. Well, that's unfortunate. Man, I, I need to stop falling for these cheap jump scares, dude. Oh. This is a strange church. Wait, is it just the same three missing people? <laughs> it is. Oh no, what is behind me? Repent? I think that's what I came in here to do, right? So I'd go into the church to repent? be another jump scare I bet right does I have the key oh not a jump scare but uh <coughs> heads well uh oh I thought that meant something was behind me Oh wait, what does that say? Uh, stab. Yeah, that's the only one. I thought there was just writing on the wall and I missed it the whole time somehow. Stab. Gonna lie, I'm a little bit confused. I can't leave. Stab. I don't have a knife. Am I? Is there a knife in the wall that I've missed? Or on the floor? Uh, I don't quite understand. Oh, oh, did I just glitch through the roof doing that? Yeah, I did. Uh, stab, right. Okay, that means something. I don't get it. Has that knife always been there? Am I just really stupid? Has, has this just been sitting here chilling? 
I don't... Am I just a fool? Stab that, get a key. God, I'm so stupid. I, I, oh, that was so obviously a knife just chilling there. <laughs> Can't even use the tired excuse because I'm pretty wide awake right now. The red room. Wait, repent or go back? What happens if I go back? I'll go back. I wonder if there's alternate endings here. I don't need to repent. Okay, so that was it. Um, yeah, let me go back and see what happens if I repent. All right, so I uh, just skipped most of the stuff. I'm um, not to include that in the video again. That was kind of tedious. Ah, yeah, the knife was just here. Just chilling. God, I'm so dumb. God, I really, really feel stupid there. Stab, stab, stab. Oh, it's not the same body? There we go. Yes, it is. It was just over one more than I thought. Okay, so this time I'm going to repent with the statue instead of leave. And, uh, we'll see what happens. Long walk. Okay, here we go. In the red room. Hello, Mr. Statue. I would like to repent. What will happen? Ah! Police! What? Okay, so the repent option is I get caught. Yeah? Okay, yeah, it, that is different ending. <clears throat> I don't know, I expected uh, a little bit more spooky stuff, but that wasn't awful for uh, something that was made in a few days. Like, that was actually pretty good. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching this episode of Three Spooky Games, and if you did like, we'd really appreciate it if you subscribe and uh, like the video. Um, tune in for next Wednesday for three more scary games, and if there's anything specific you guys would like to see, just leave it down in the comments, and I'll check it out and see if it's something I'd uh, do here. 